Okay, so the first problem we're going to look at is number 9 from 11.6 problems. It says, what is the length of each diagonal of a uh, cube that is 45 centimeters on each side? And so uh, to do a problem like this, and they drew you a picture in there to help you, you've got to be able to think a little bit three-dimensionally. And so we're trying to find the distance from this corner to this one up here. Well, in a cube, that distance is going to create a right triangle with this edge, right, which is the height, and then what we'd call the diagonal of the base. And so the diagonal of the base is what we don't know, and if we can find that, then we can do Pythagorean theorem to find this length. So if this is 45 here and this is 45 here, and this is a right angle because the base is a square, then x is just the side length there, and so you can do 45 squared plus 45 squared equals x squared. It did say to round to the nearest hundredth, and so we can do this using our calculator, 45 squared plus 45 squared, and that equals um, 4,050. Now, I will say uh, this just turns out to be um, uh, the same as 45 root 2, um, or you could take the square root of it using your calculator, um, which turns out to be 63.6396103. Um, I'm going to leave that in my calculator and use it here in a second. And so now I take this side squared and this side squared. And so I square that um, plus 45 squared. And that gives me 6,075. And so when I take the square root of uh, that answer, and so when I do um, x, this 45 root 2, which was 63.6, uh, 9, 6 squared plus 45 squared, that equals 6,075. So I need to take the square root of that to find this length. And that turns out to be 77.94 when you're on to the nearest hundredth. It also turns out to be, and this is always true in a cube, it turns out to be the side length, 45, times the square root of 3. 45 squared is 2,025, 2,025 times 3 is 6,075, 45 squared to 3. And that always turns out to be the case in a cube. For the second problem, number 11, it's very similar, except instead of being a cube, it's a rectangular prism or box. And when we look at it, we have um, what is the length of each diagonal rectangular box with length 55 width... Uh, 48 and height 70. So you got a height of 70, one of the sides in the base is 48, one is 55. So to find that length, you start by doing the Pythagorean theorem just in the same way we did up here to find the what we call the diagonal of the base. And if you're having trouble picturing this, grab a box in your house and kind of move it around and touch it and feel it and look at it um, to see what I'm talking about. But the diagonal of the base is just going to be we call it x, it's going to be 48 squared plus 55 squared equals x squared. And so we multiply those together, 48 squared plus 55 squared, and that gets me 5329. Now, here's a little trick for you. We could take the square root of that and find the diagonal of the base, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to take that value, this x that we just calculated, which is the square root of 5,329, and we're going to square it and add that to 70 squared to find out the length of that diagonal squared. But x squared is just 5329, right? The square root of 5329 um, squared. So it's just 5329, so you get 5329 plus 4900 equals that diagonal squared. So we add 4900. We then take the square root of that, um, and we get 101.14 equals D, right? We take the square root of both sides here, and we get 101.14 is the length of that diagonal.